What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Leaf Autograph Mini Helmet Football Break. Eight box case break. Two random teams each, number five sold out. And again, guys, 16 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in the NFL, and you get one autograph mini helmet per box. Eight total chances. And there are some of the chasers. I don't know if we hit actually have any one of these chasers yet, but Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Trevor Lawrence. Uh, I don't know who the Bears one is. Who's that Bears one? I can't really tell. Is that a sweetness? Can't tell. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, you know, and a lot more names, of course. So that'd be awesome to get one of those those right there. So again, here we go, guys. So like I said, we doubled up your names from Tyler down to Kevin, and then we have Cardinals down to the Washington Football Team. Let's roll the dice. Four and three, lucky number seven, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you go, seven times. Four to three, seven. Kevin, down to Grant. Sweetness. <laughs> Alright, four and a three, seven. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nice. What's up, Ryan? How you doing, buddy? Seven times, seven times. Green Bay Packers down to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Kevin with the Packers. Eric, you have the Seahawks. Jared with the Browns. Adam covering with the Cardinals. Grant with the Dolphins. Adam covering with the Bears. Jared with the football team. Uh, Daniel with the Steelers. Tyler with the Chargers. Eric with the Cowboys. Adam with the Giants. And Grant with the Rams. Yanni with the Vikings, Adam with the Colts, as well as the Bills. Kevin with the Texans, Victor with the Carolina Panthers, Yanni with the Falcons, Raymond with the Titans, Jared with the 49ers, Adam with the Eagles, Anthony with the Ravens, Raymond with the Broncos, Danny with the Bucks, Anthony with the Patriots, Jared with the Raiders, Anthony with the Lions, Victor with the Chiefs, Anthony with the Bengals, Grant with the Jets, Tyler with the Saints, and Grant with the Jaguars. And because you missed me on Instagram, so that's why you're here. You know. Right? It's because you missed me on Instagram. Just, just, just be, just, just be honest. <laughs> yeah, the young bucks are still learning with the with the heavier base products. All right, anybody want to trade, guys? I am, Oliver, I am. There's there's enough people here to do it. Last time I didn't have enough time because I was super backed up with Bowman on Sunday, so I just didn't want to, like, waste too much time. But now I got the time, I got customers here, you know, we'll do it. All right, here's some trade chatter. That's good. That is good.
<laughs> I know, I'm just joking. I know. It's and sometimes I'm pretty good at this because I recognize like you know specific years players played or you know just it just clicks in my head. But then there's times where like you know we said I'm not gonna get them right. But yeah, I can't beat myself. And yes, Ryan just snagged three in the Spectra RMB. So bringing it down to two left. So if anybody wants to help kill off that Spectra, two left. All right, so does anybody want to confirm a trade? Just let me know. I know there's a lot of trade chatter. Ray saying, are the Niners available for the Titans or Broncos? And then Jay Mysterio saying, I'll trade Browns or Raiders. Uh, are we going to make a trade or not? <laughs> I know, right? All right, then, guys. I'm closing the trade with the guys. Sorry. We're killing a lot of valuable time now. All right, we'll stick to what you got, then, guys. And I'll probably do this standing up, most likely. Just because uh, I feel like the box might need to be over here. Oh, yeah? Man. You really are bored, Ryan, when it comes to that. Dude, I pulled a crazy dual booklet yesterday from WWE, dude. You want to see it? Anybody love WWE? I did some personals at WWE yesterday. And I pulled this crazy dual booklet out of five yesterday. Check this out. Check this out. Ultimate matched rook or book card. Freaking Edge and Jeff Hardy. Look at that. Boom. Three out of five. It's pretty awesome. Nice, right? All right, guys. Time for some real fun. All right, Leaf. Jesus. Are your labels that really, are your stickers that really good? I think this guy popped off yesterday, to be honest. I'm currently 63, just as uh, Kevin just said in the chat earlier. <laughs> um, I was a second round pick, pick 51, 1981 draft. I'm a Super Bowl champion, six time Pro Bowler, uh, in the Ring of Honor for the Saints. I'm a Pro Football Hall of Famer. I have uh, 1,100 tackles, 128 sacks, 8 interceptions, forced fumbles, or 40 forced fumbles. And yes, you're right, Oliver. <laughs> it's the one you actually picked yesterday. I won't go on about this guy because we've we seen him yesterday. But yes, New Orleans Saints, Ricky Jackson. 
This guy popped off yesterday. That's not fair. Alright. Ricky Jackson, though. I got Warren Moon so fast yesterday. Like, all that's all Joe had to say was 63, a former quarterback. I was like, Warren Moon! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who has the Saints? Uh, Tyler. Look at that, Tyler. Tyler has a helmet coming to him. I know, I think you actually got that helmet, didn't you? <laughs> All right, next one. Like that kid in the class that like, knows everything. I know, I didn't even give you guys a shot. Ooh, nice one. This is actually one of those, like, you know, kind of cool helmets. Alrighty. I am currently active in the NFL. I am a young buck still, honestly, actually. I'm age 25, born in Castle Rock, Colorado. Anybody know that already? I was a first round pick, pick number eight in the NFL draft. I am a first team all pro, pro bowler in 2019. And I'm a running back. Currently I have 3,500 yards. 30 rushing touchdowns, 3,000 receiving yards with 17 touchdowns receiving. I'm a dual threat as a running back. I went to college at Stanford from 2014 to 2016. The fact that this kid is still only 25 is pretty amazing. You know, as a sophomore in 2015, I was named College Football Player of the Year and was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. And have numerous NFL records, including franchise records, of one of three players to ever record a thousand rushing yards and a thousand receiving yards in the same season, doing so in 2019. And yes, Oliver, Ryan, Kevin, CMC. There you go. Nice blue ink right there. That's one of those Eclipse helmets, which look pretty cool. Again, when this guy is healthy, he's pretty dangerous. It's just, you know, running back of his size and the way he runs and everything, it's just, uh, it's bound to, you know, get some injuries. But he's 5'11", five, five 205 pounds. All right, Carolina Panthers going to Victor. Nice. Lakers take care of business. I'll be seeing them on Sunday against John ja Morant. All right, next box. Honestly, don't rec remember the player so much, but really cool helmet, though. Wait, is this the right guy? Hmm. Well, no wonder I don't recognize this guy. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know if this was a mistake, but. This is a football mini helmet, but this 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 guy is uh actually in college, <laughs> not even in the NFL yet. But let's see if you guys can recognize this guy. Um, I'm an American football quarterback currently uh, in the NCAA. 
I went to Carroll Senior High School in South Lake, Texas. I began my college career at this university before transferring this year to my current university. Anybody know that guy already? <laughs> um, and then this quarterback here, I'm a quarterback actually, sorry, I don't know if I mentioned that. But uh, notably, becoming the first amateur athlete to land a $1 million deal upon taking advantage of the NLI rules. And I'll say the first uh, place where I started. I started with the Ohio State Buckeyes and transferred to Texas Longhorns. Not Spencer Rattler. And I'm still a freshman as well. 18 years old. Born March 15th, 2003. Wow. This is definitely a young buck. Well, th this guy must be the real deal. This guy, uh... This guy transferred from Ohio State to Texas. And, uh... I already has a million dollar deal. I don't know if anybody's ever gonna get this. So this, this guy probably hasn't started yet, honestly. That's probably why he transferred. Not Pickett. Any more guesses before I show it? Not Thompson. No? No? You know what's crazy is that actually the fact is that that's why he's able to sign these, right? Because he, he now he can land his own money. Well, there you go. Quinn Ewers. There you go. Jesse got it. Or Jesus got it, sorry. And yeah, it's a cool Ohio State helmet, though. I love that they have the little uh, stickers on there. But, yeah, he is now a Texas Longhorn. So that's probably why he was able to be in this product. <laughs> because of the NLI rules. So everybody will have a shot at that because he's not in the NFL. So maybe you can hold on to this guy. Hold on to this guy until he potentially makes a pro. So I'll leave that here to the side. That's something new. I haven't seen that in a while. I usually see college helmets, but like, you know, it's like Trevor Lawrence or something. Yeah, Quinn Ewers is, uh... Yeah, I mean, he had some great passing stats. At high, in high school. Dude had three, almost 4,000 passing yards in less than 10 games, 45 touchdowns to three interceptions. <laughs> These, these guys that go play in high school are just ridiculous. Like, their stats. Everybody's just a baller. Alright. I'm currently not active in the NFL. I'm a former cornerback who played my entire career with one team. I'm a Pro Football Hall of Famer. Second round pick in 1964. Pick number 17. I went to Oregon. Go Ducks. And I went to high school in Portland. Jefferson High School. Cornerback for this team. Uh, played 174 games. 52 interceptions. Had 626 interception yards and 3 TDs. Pro Football Hall of Famer. College Football Hall of Famer. And if it helps, I played my entire career with the Dallas Cowboys. Won two Super Bowls with the Cowboys. I was a 10-time Pro Bowler, 7-time All-Star, or a 7-time All-Pro, NFL Interceptions Leader in 1969, part of the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor, and a consensus All-American in college. Not Tony, not Everson. No other guesses? This is an older player, so I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't uh, blame you guys. Alright. Let's just show it. Nice old school Dallas Cowboys helmet. But, it is Mel Renfro. 
Hall of Fame 96. Nice old school Cowboys helmet too as well. It's funny. It says Roger Staubach right there. That's funny. But that's not. It's Mel Renfro. Maybe they meant to put Roger Staubach's autograph on this. <laughs> Either way, it's going to go to the Cowboys. Eric. Eric J. Hitting tonight. All right, halfway through, guys. Halfway through. Hunter Renfro's dad? <laughs> Ooh. This guy's definitely a fan favorite. Or maybe was a fan favorite. Alright, I'm a former NFL running back. I'm currently 74 years old, born in San Francisco, California. I was a 6 foot 1, 212 running back. First round pick. First overall in 1969. I was the most valuable football player in 1973. Offensive player of the year. Five-time pro bowler. NFL rushing leader, four years. NFL rushing leader for two years. A pro football Hall of Famer and a college football Hall of Famer. And I went to the USC. <laughs> Obviously, I mean... I guess just as popular as he is on the football field. Very popular off the field. <laughs> Harold Carmichael now. And yeah, nickname, The Juice. That was, that was kind of easy, right? Yes, I'm OJ Simpson. There you go. Nice Buffalo Bills helmet right there. The juice. All right. Who has the bills? Adam Coverman. You are getting a juice. Autograph helmet. Well, it's Adam Coverman's hands now. <laughs> we should be warning Adam. Be aware, Adam. He might show up at your doorstep. All right, next one. Ooh, man. excited for this one. This one's fun. I am a current NFL quarterback uh, drafted in the second round. I went to college at Alabama in Oklahoma. I'm 23 years old. I love it. 23 years old. Can you believe that? Six foot one, two hundred twenty-three pounds. A Pro Bowl alternate in his second year. <laughs> of course, you guys know. Of course, you guys know. Uh, led the Eagles from a two and five record to potentially a ten and seven and a playoff berth. There you go. I think this guy's the real deal for us.
Jalen Hurts for my Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Who has the Eagles? Adam Kupperman also has the Eagles. Don't worry, if, if OJ ends up taking his helmet back, you could uh, definitely have this uh, Jalen Hurts. That's right. That's right. I love it because we're supposed to be rebuilding. We're making the playoffs and we have three first round picks. <clears throat> All right, yeah, I know actually, right, Eric? Who's going to win this, uh, this Monday? Roll Tide? Or go dogs. It's gonna be a really good, uh, good uh, national championship, though. Kind of want to see Georgia win, only for the sake that uh, Oregon has uh, the defensive coordinator now as their head coach, and I think him beating and containing uh, Alabama would probably bring some prospects and some uh, recruits our way to Oregon. So I wouldn't mind that. All right. I'm a former NFL running back who played 13 seasons in the NFL. I'm a two-time consensus All-American, was selected second overall in the 1994 draft. Won a Super Bowl in 2000, was named Most Valuable Player, and is one of only three players to reach at least 10,000 rushing yards, 5,000 receiving yards, and the only one to amass 12,000 rushing yards and 6,000 receiving yards. I went to college at San Diego State. First round pick, like I said, number two overall in 1994. Played five seasons for the Colts before being traded to the Rams. Greatest show on turf. And a Hall of Famer. Not Ricky Williams. Kevin says Davis, no. Jamal Lewis, no. Smith, no. And then Oliver says it, yes. And then Kevin says it, yes. But this is actually a Marshall Falk Colts mini helmet. So that'll be going to the Indianapolis Colts, not the Rams. And Colts is Adam Kupperman. Wow, that's three in a row for Adam Kupperman. Look at that. That's crazy. Adam Kupperman, good lord. Three in a row. Might as well just gift me that Jalen Hurts now. <laughs> Adam's just straight killing this break, honestly. Alright, last one here, guys. Good luck. Again, everybody says a shot at the, uh, obviously, a collegiate quarterback over there. Man, this is a great case, honestly. Looking at the names now, this is a great case. Alrighty. I'm a former professional football player who spent my entire career with one team and I was a former linebacker in the NFL. I uh, was a first round pick in 1981. Number two overall. Two time Super Bowl champion, most valuable player in the NFL, three time defensive player of the year, NFL rookie of the year, 10 time pro bowler, NFL sacks leader in 1986, 
part of the 1980s All Decades team, part of the 75th anniversary All Time team, part of the 100th anniversary All Time team. My jersey's retired by my team, number 56. And uh, I just have so many achievements. <laughs> so many achievements. And uh, total tackles over 1,000. 1089 to be exact. 142 sacks. Force fumbles 56. Nine interceptions. And yes. LT. Giant helmet. And like a newer Giants helmet as well. G-Man. Wow. Are you kidding me? Is this sheet wrong? Hold up. Hold up. Does that say Adam Kupperman again? For the Giants? Eagles? Giants? Colts? Who was the other one that he hit? What was the other one that he hit? Who's the, who's the other one? I, I, I'm trying to remember who's the other one again. I'm blanked, but I can't believe it. Four out of the eight. Damn. Oh, that's right, the OJ. That's right. Damn. That is wild. Adam's going to wake up to this and he's going to be like, what the hell? Well, that's why you grab multiple spots, right? All right, who wants to place a bet that Kupperman's going to win the randomizer as well? <laughs> All righty. So, again, this helmet will be randomized to everybody currently in the college, uh, currently in the NCAA, so there's that. So let's uh, switch scenes really quick. You know, I would I would want to say that too, but then again, you know, it's, it's he also got like I don't know five six spots whatever it was. So then you know it's kind of hard to do that. And yeah, he actually hit like four different times. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. All right, <clears throat> roll it. Five and a one six times. Good luck. One. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. <laughs> I'm nervous to do this randomizer. Six times. Good luck, guys. Oh, man, I thought I seen an A and I thought it was Adam Coverman. Anthony Silva, congratulations, man. I don't think I called your name. But uh, there you go. So you're going to get the uh, NCAA quarterback currently for the long horse, Quinn Ewers. Ewers. Well, appreciate it, guys. Thank you, guys. That was really fun. I know Adam cleaned up, but hey, that's why you grab multiple spots and in, in the effort to obviously hit with all those spots. So I appreciate it, guys. I do have one more mini helmet to post up. Um, so I'll post it up right now. We can do that tomorrow, guys. We really appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.